I remember as a teenager all this anxiety uh, in the in the home around the time that my older brother was nearing his 18th birthday. I remember phone calls to church elders and to family friends as far as what was to be done. The reason for all this angst um, and anxiety, which we the children felt, was that was the law uh, that requires that any male in the U.S. Um, need to register with the Selective Services um, within 30 days of their 18th birthday. And um, my brother did register as the law uh, required, and so if there was a draft, he would have been drafted. To be clear, there has not been a draft um, in the U.S. since 1973. But what my parents uh, were worried about was that as Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't go to war. So uh, they were wondering what that would mean should there be a draft. But the reason for my telling you the story is that I believe it was the first time that I finally understood um, how people willingly um, choose to serve in the armed forces. Those who throughout history have chosen to answer the call to service, even knowing how difficult a journey it could turn out to be. This drive, this hunger to be of service is felt by so many who humbly and graciously satiate that desire to protect others at the risk of their own safety. Many of us will never serve in this capacity as it is not our path. But we yearn to serve nevertheless and that hunger, it seems, must be fed. And we find other ways to be of service. For many of us, it is, we do this by willingly taking care of an ailing friend or relative, taking care of the people right in front of us. For some, this hunger is satisfied through um, the way we make a living, uh, nurses, um, teachers, um, firefighters, waitresses. Um, we the people who take care of, of the needs of others. For others, yet it is by volunteering um, time and talent to, a, to an organization that um, they consider um, is doing worthy work. I spent three years volunteering in Zambia with Habitat for Humanity International um, spending most of that time in a small village um, without um, indoor plumbing or electricity. That was the best and the worst experience of my young adult life. Um, and it is something that I needed to do. People ask me all the time why I chose to leave everything familiar to go volunteer continents away. And for me, what would have been hard would have been not to do that. It, it was a drive in me to do this and, um, and to do it where I felt um, the need was great. What is this purpose of this hunger to serve? In other words, why do so many of us find that we must be of service? I think one reason is that um, as human beings, we draw this experience brings great joy and satisfaction to us. Um, heard of the saying, um, 
there is more joy in giving than receiving or, or something along those lines. So in serving others, we're giving a gift both to that other and to ourselves. We are driven to help another meet their needs, which in turn gladdens our heart. If, if you think about it, this ties into our second UU principle, which speaks of justice, equity, and compassion in human relation. Um, it's doing, doing justice work um, brings happiness to us. I think another reason why we are so hungry to serve is that it's that connection we make while we are um, feeding this hunger. As social and spiritual being, we yearn to connect with one another. We yearn to be together. We want to see others do well. Um, as the Archbishop Desmond Tutu said, my humanity is bound up in yours for we can only be human together. We sim simple, we need one another which is also tied into a seventh principle that addresses the interdependent web of all existence of which we are a part. We are simply drawn together. So let's be grateful for our hunger to serve and our ability to satisfy this hunger for not everyone has the opportunity to do so. And let us be grateful even when we are unable to serve and we are the ones in need of service. For we are offering opportunities for connection. And on tomorrow being Memorial Day, let us remember to honor and celebrate those who have given their lives in battle so that we might be able to to satisfy our own hunger to serve, may it be so.